so I wanted to make a video about this new theory of mathematics. It is really fresh, brand new and revolutionary. It's from a guy called Mohammed Ababu and he did a really great job there, so props to him. The theory is called the theory of numbers have an end. And its main result is that numbers have an end. Because if you think about it, so it's such fallacious concepts like infinity really have no place in mathematics. Now, you'll probably ask yourself, why do numbers have an end? How is that even possible? And the explanation is pretty brilliant. It's just a matter of mind and logic. The scientific truth times the brain plus the logic equals numbers have an end. Mohammed Ababu. It is based on the idea that counting and time are inseparable, as illustrated here. Um, count is inseparable from time equals numbers have an end. Completely evident, Mohammed Ababu. Because every time someone counts, doesn't matter if he counts upwards or downwards, time progresses like that. If it's not yet clear to you, here is another illustration that shows the effect that time has on counting. Effect of time on counting, Mohammed Ababu. Notice that the backwards arrow is crossed out, that means that the time does not return, and so doesn't the counting. And here we can see how time and counting overlap with each other. The counting overlap with time, Mohammed Ababu. And time itself is just the absolute counting, as you can clearly see in this diagram. The absolute counting is time, Mohammed Ababu. So there is no counting without time, and no time without counting. And you see, time had a beginning, and it has its end right here, right now to be more specific. So when time ends, it logically follows that the counting also stops. But what is being counted other than numbers? The relationship of time to numbers, Mohammed Ababu. So when the counting ends, numbers must also end. So at any moment, at every instant where time ends, so do the numbers. Now, skeptics may ask, what is the biggest number then? And the answer is, whatever number has been counted to. <laughs> and now someone may respond, but if I add one to this number, I will certainly get a bigger one. So how can this be the end of numbers if numbers still go on after that? If you paid attention, you would know that this question doesn't make any sense, because you know numbers end temporarily. <clears throat> In this diagram, we see that the temporary ending of numbers is right now. To clarify a bit, here is another illustration. Clarify that the numbers end temporarily, Mohammed Ababu. And another one. Notice again the duality of plus and minus, which means that the direction of counting doesn't matter. Now it should be clear how numbers end temporarily. Anyway, uh, there is actually an interesting question that arises from the objection, and it is, by adding 1, does time stop? Now, to be honest, I haven't really figured it this out yet, and Mohammed Ababu didn't answer it in his famous paper. I'm not quite sure if it was meant as an exercise for the reader, or if it is supposed to be subject of further research. In the latter case, I'm definitely thrilled for a follow-up paper from Mr. Ababu, where he answers that question. But thanks to him, we finally know and have established as a scientific truth that numbers have an end. Numbers have an end. A global scientific renaissance will change the world. Mohammed Ababu. The numbers have an end, a scientific fact, should be established in the mind of rising generations. Mohammed Ababu. And it turns out that the idea of numbers have no end is actually really toxic to science and mathematics. Mathematics isn't considered to be a science that deserves to be taught if it was mixed with believing that numbers have no end. Mohammed Ababu. Mathematics is in danger. Save it with theory of numbers have an end. Mohammed Ababu. In contrast, the theory of numbers have an end is really a vital part of and absolutely necessary for any scientific endeavors. The theory of numbers have an end, a boat that saves the brain from illusions and science from myths. Mohammed Ababu. Even space-time, the very fabric of existence itself, confirms that numbers have an end, as is evident from this diagram. Space-time forces the theory of numbers have an end. Mohammed Ababu. You know, after Ababu's breakthrough, you can only call yourself a real mathematician if you accept the fact that numbers have an end, because the idea of numbers have no end remains unproven and just untrue. The mathematics of Euclid, Algorithmi, Riemann and Cantor have expired. 
Original Scientific Mathematics. Numbers have an end. Mohammed Ababu. Numbers have no end. One of the biggest mistakes in mathematics known to mankind. Mohammed Ababu. You know, it simply goes against the mind if you really think about it. The world in the 21st century, but unfortunately, those who believe that the numbers have no end are still the owners of the minds of the Dark Ages. Mohammed Ababu. The idea of numbers have no end, a leap that disformed science and exhausted the brains. Mohammed Ababu. There is one interesting corollary of Ababu's theorem. 1 divided by 0 equals 1. This is the truth. If you had an apple and you were required to devise it by nothing, isn't it that the apple remains as it is? Mohammed Ababu. <laughs> well, this is definitely something to think about. So, uh, I think it has been clearly demonstrated now that the numbers do indeed have an end. I'm glad that you gave me the opportunity to enlighten you. Now it would be really cool if we could spread the knowledge of this revolutionary theory. The numbers have an end. A scientific truth. Be its supporters and make the world a witness a renaissance and scientific revolution. Mohammed Ababu. So, if you're gonna watch the World Cup, why don't you raise the slogan, Numbers have an end? It is for a good cause, after all. Duty to raise slogans. Numbers have an end during the World Cup. Mohammed Ababu. No, we are near the end of the video, because if numbers end, then this video must also come to an end. But there is still one announcement from Mr. Ababu himself. I will work to establish an international day of the theory of numbers have an end. Mohammed Ababu. And that is really something I look forward to. I want to live in a world where everyone knows and celebrates that the numbers have an end. And with that, I'm out. See you next time.